test drive. Wrecked it. That's a shame. That's a shame. We hustle daily. What's going on, Hustle Nation? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Big Play Ray, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Join the Hustle Nation. Y'all already know the deal. We at Copart right now. We got three nice cars right here. We got a, a Huracan. We got a um, Claren. And we got an old school Mustang that I'm going to talk to y'all about. Man, y'all be surprised how much money they got on this Mustang, bro. But like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com. Y'all interested in learning how to properly buy and sell cars at the auction? Let's get it, man. So uh, I guess I'll just start here since y'all seen this one already. All right. So since y'all seen this one already, we got the Huracan here. We have not been able to open the door, though. Yep, still haven't been able to open the door. It is a wrap on there. You can see right there. I've showed y'all this one before, even before they even put it like on uh, in the yard. Got 2,100 miles. This guy is actually a, um, where's his Instagram at? Oh, here we go. So this guy's Instagram, he, he made a home care. Uh, I looked it up. He made a home, his own home care, um, mobile home care. I think that's what it was. And you know what I'm saying he became a millionaire off that, man. So I think he's like local in Atlanta too, man. So, um, yeah, shit, the car is here, so, yeah. But it was a nice little wrap on there, type gold type little wrap. Convertible, he went crazy. Um, this is a 2017 Huracan. Um, gotta love the front of the Lamborghinis, man. The front of the Lamborghinis just go so crazy, bro. They go so crazy, bro. Look at that, we got the McLaren and the Lambo looking nasty with the, um, What's that called? The uh, Mustang in the back. But um, got it over here dirty. I love the way... <sighs> I love the way they lights look, man. Hold on. Let me put that big play right there. You know what I'm saying? What up? Big play. Ray. Hey. What's up, Hustle Nation? This video has been sponsored to you by whdacademy.com, the online course that's gonna teach you everything you need to know about the auction game, all my tips on how to properly inspect cars, and most importantly, how to make money. As you can see, I've been doing this for a while, and as you can also see, I have plenty of testimonials on how I've helped others gain success in this business. So if you're interested in learning, be sure to click the link in the description below. But yeah, man, um. I wish we could open the doors of this thing. I'm noticing on Lamborghinis, look at their brakes. They do something, they got like a little curve into their rotors. That's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Gotta be able to stop this bad boy. I think that's who wrapped it, all-star styling, I think. Like I said, I showed y'all this one before. I don't think they got this one for sale yet though, still. Damn, they got a hole right here. I never noticed that. I got a freaking hole right there. Uh, here's the McLaren right here. This look like maybe a, it says Candy Wraps ATL. Is it wrapped? We have to open the, uh, open the, um, what you call it. But let me actually see if this is, uh, let's see. All right, there we go. So the Lamborghini, is uh for sale right now salvage rear end they estimated at 200k 15,200 is the current bid 15,200 so it's actually like on the website right now so 15,200 is the current bid how many more days they got uh, da, 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 da. oh no it says future so it's not even for sale yet they just got 15 racks on it already we got a mclaren here with the motor in the back let's see can we open this nah we got like some gold or something going on in there you see it is that gold yeah like yeah y'all see that but um we got the motor in the back damn we got the exhaust right in my face um this is the motor right or the tranny one i think that might be the motor the tranny probably is up here well, no, nah, shit, all that shit in the back. But uh, I think this is an older McLaren, bro. Yeah, it's like a 12. Still clean. Got the red interior. Door panels messed up. Red and black. Car wraps, ATL. Let's see if we got one. Yeah, what the door? Nah, 
Hobbs that on that joint. Got the carbon fiber right here. That's nasty. Hold up, y'all. What the hell? Am I tweaking or? But I don't see the door handle. I know y'all gonna get on me in the comments about this, boy. Y'all gonna be like, you couldn't find the door handle, bro? Bro, I'm looking. I don't see the damn door handle, dog. I don't see it. And it is a wrap. You can see it right there. It's got like a candy, uh, not candy, like a metallic to it. You can actually see it all through here. It might have actually been white, though, already. They just added this like metallic type color. Uh, no convertible, nothing like that. Top don't drop. 2012, though. 2012, 2012. Let's see if you got it on this side. That's probably where they got the damn door. Yeah, it's not opening anyway. I was gonna try to open the damn doors, but I don't see the doorknobs. Now, if McLaren usually have a doorknob right here, I mean, yeah, like the door little handle, I don't like, bro, I'm looking, dog. I don't freaking see the door, bro. Like, door handle. So y'all probably get on me in the comments about that. But you know, it is what it is. We got dual pistons, dual pistons on that one too. Y'all probably get on me about that, but bro, I do not see it. <laughs> like, we just looked. We got the carbon fiber mirrors. see with that one it's upcoming it's not for sale yet 2012 don't got the miles or nothing but this right here they want this thing bad got some paint chipping right here looks like it used to be blue changed it to red see the cracks all in the paint or nah because it don't look like it was blue there but man, they got a they got a pretty uh, decent amount of money on this thing right here. They actually had this thing in here for a good little minute. Oh, I thought it was some damage. They got well, hmm, they got fifty seven hundred on it right now. Uh, 1965 Ford Mustang. They got 57, yeah, 5700. I could have swore like this one was like 80 something. It's like they ran it a couple of times and it didn't sell. 120 on the dash. We'll see if we can pop the hood. Where the hell is the hood at on these things, man? If I can't pop the hood, it is what it is. Y'all know this ain't the first time I've not been able to <laughs> pop the damn hood on one of these old schools. I don't know nothing about old schools. You know what I'm saying I, mean, I don't really want an old school or anything like that. I used to want like a Monte Carlo SS19, you know, 60 something or something like that. No, 80 something, like 86. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. But, you know, new cars is my thing now, man. No old cars, dog. You're going to put a 100K in an old school car and shit. I'd rather ride a 100K Bentley or something. You feel me? Me personally. Oh, the door don't, the door don't close. But, yeah, they had this thing in here for a minute, man. 289. Let's see. I know some people say, like, yo, it's up under the hood. It's up under the, what's it call it? It's up under the, uh, there we go. Hey, I got it, guys. Finally. Let's snap. Let's see. Ugh. Got it. Okay. Looks like they changed the motor in here. Looks like they changed some stuff. Looks like you got some headers, maybe. Carburetor. Edelbrock. Alternator, water pump, no AC. This thing says it run. Nope, they still want it. 
Yeah, man. People love these old schools, man. I finally got the hood open, y'all. Put this down. Ugh. If y'all think about it, though. Y'all let me know if y'all into the old schools in the comments below. So, 5700 on this one. They don't got no money on this one just as yet. Just of yet, rather. And then they got, um... What did I say? Uh, 15-2 on this one. But uh, let me go find my little cheap cars. Just like to show y'all the uh, more expensive cars. See you guys in a sec. All right, guys. This one is finally for sale as well. Uh, 2015 Chevy Corvette Stingray Z51 3LT. And it's a 3Z51 3 ZLT. What the hell is that? Z51 ZLT. But uh, they got 5,900 on it right now. They value it at 37,000. Um, it's derelict. Derelict means parts only. Um, they got it. They got it. They got uh, 5,900 on it right now. Uh, would y'all pay 5,900 for something like this? That's derelict. Derelict means again parts only. That's all you can. You can never get the car registered or anything like that. That's what derelict means. Um, they say it was stripped, in which they did strip it. They took the seats and stuff out, out of it, really. Um, other than that, I don't really see them. They ain't take too much more, right? Um, can we pop the hood, though? Let mm. yeah, I probably ain't gonna pop the hood. I'm not trying to get in this door. So, hold up. Is the car wider? Where's the car? Oh, my bad, guys. Oh, that's <laughs> that's the tape they put on here. I'm like, I thought I had a wrap on it. But, uh, yeah, 5900 man. It's actually for sale right now. The auction is running now, right now. But, unfortunately, it's not running. So, let's see if it's open. It's not. I think the motor's still in there, though. Should be. I can't even see. I see that, but I don't know if I see a motor in here. I would pop the Let me see if I can pop the hood, man. I'm just not trying to get all this damn dust on me. Y'all see that dust? It's like hella dust on the whole car. The whole car is dusty. Let's see if I can look in here and see. Uh, oh, that's how you open the door. Hold up, y'all. Hold up, hold up. Bear with me. Hmm. I have to open it for a little latch right here. Hey, is it a true story that... What the hell is this deal? Is it a true story that somebody passed away in a burning... I've, somebody told me this story before. Somebody passed away in a burning Corvette. And this button wasn't working. So they didn't know how to get out of the car. And they, had, they didn't know to use that. That little... Uh, you know emergency door open thing is that a true story somebody told me that before i could have swore nah bruh ain't no motor in this that's what they really wanted the damn motor in the trains i'm about to say i know they just didn't take the seats bro they took everything yep so the only thing you really got is wheels doors and you know stuff like that Jam wheeled radio, little stuff like that, brake brakes, rotors, and stuff. But that's a shame. And it did have the uh, white lights in the back, like the Z06 do. And they got the e-tron Audi. I think the Audis be looking really, really nice. I think the Audis be looking nice. I like the way this Audi look uh, in the rear. Stop. It's the e-tron uh, electric one. I think these joints hard. I like this color on here too. It's a little dusty, like I say. But that color go crazy. Come on. 15,000 miles don't leave key in the car, they say. Mug might drive off by itself. Got a little suede right here. I like this. I like how they, I like that. Ought to be going crazy, man. They go more, they better than damn BMW interior, I'll tell you that. To me. Ugh. Ugh, got a lot of this right here, so you would get your fingerprints. I don't like that. 
They say don't leave key in the car, and I got the key in the car. I like this too. It's different. I'm sorry, y'all. My stomach just started hurting. Whew. Anybody else got that problem? Like you don't really eat in the morning? Ooh, my stomach hurt. Don't really be eating in the morning, man. I be having to, like, I don't know. It just be too early to eat. I be having to like take some insure or something, like keep me going. Did I take some today? I don't even know. Did I drink some today? But yeah, man, it's like I don't have an appetite in the morning. I think I asked y'all that before. Some of y'all told me y'all had the same issue. Damn, this is a long freaking compartment. It's a nice little place to keep your books and stuff, though. That's what's up. I like this little, I like this little Audi, man. Panoramic. They could have did better up here with a lighting and stuff. Y'all know BMW got that junk on lock. Damn, look at that. Yeah, they got the cost on this junk. Oh, this is just a service right now. Electric battery. Wow, y'all having problems with the battery already, bro. Yep, guys, so. Let me get out of here. Ah. Yeah, like I said, I think I showed y'all this one before. 2019 too, by the way. That's the front of it. That electric. Let me see. Damn, they didn't even let you see the damn motor. I ain't about to move all that. That's interesting. They got the lock latches here and here instead of right there in the middle. All right, y'all. Show y'all this one. Unfortunately, oh, sorry. Unfortunately, it sold. But this is the type of stuff you can get out cold part, man. Big boy AMG GLE. I liked the damn. Tore this mug up. I liked the what you call it? The um. The BMW X6. I think I like the way that. Okay, this is it. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me not speak too fast. Let me get in this. Nah. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. I she got the eyelashes. I like the interior of the mercedes better than the x6 but i like the exterior of the x6 better than the exterior on the um amg and i believe that's what it is except that i would have had that from bmw because bmw make a nice uh lighting there you know but i'm gonna say this Exterior wise, the truck itself looks better. Uh, the X6 to me, in my opinion, the truck itself looks better. The interior of this truck is better to me than the um interior on the X6, definitely 100%. 100%. But that new X6. I like the back of the new X6. The back of the new X6 is hard. It's way, it's to me, it's better than that. To me. Y'all let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I'm just showing y'all all the nice little stuff <laughs> before we get to my little rust bucket. I'm almost there, so catch y'all when I get back there. Would you look at that? Test drive. Wrecked it. That's a shame. That's a shame. Damn, Mopar fan freaks. <laughs> you Mopar fan freaks. Damn, y'all. So they value this one at um. They value this one at uh seventy eight thousand. The current bid 
as the car, as you see the car right now, the current bid on it is $25,250. Yeah, looking like this. The current bid, one more time, is $25,250. That's crazy. What it looking like this? It's brand new, I guess, right? It was on a test drive. Well, I don't know if it was new or used. Let's see. 12,000 miles. 12,708. 12,708 miles. We definitely seen this one before. Y'all see that the wide bodies just pop off. Poop, 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 poop with the clips. So you can literally just bow, pop it off. Here too, probably. Oh, that's probably where you unscrew it at right there. Comes right off. Um, damn though, bro. I showed y'all this one before, but that's the current bid. Like it's finally for sale. It's actually running right now. But for twenty five thousand, damn. Is the motor running? Yeah, I don't got no power. It's just so plain on the inside. Nice steering wheel though. I ain't gonna flex like the steel wheel don't feel nice. So straight. Got the red gauges. Oh, it didn't have no cooling. So even if it would start, but it might still run though, y'all. Shit, the, all the hoses still on. But damn. So maybe whew, 25 racks, bro. Whew. Not a red eye or nothing. It's 25 racks. It took 25,250 bucks. Got the dual caliber. No, I don't even got duals like the uh, Lamborghini do. Whew. Boy, what y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. 25,000. Damn. All right, we got another one. Look at that. I showed y'all this one before. They just moving them around. But this one actually cranked up last time. Damn, they got a kiss in the damn... What is this, a Subaru? This might not have been due fault, though. SRT. 66,000 miles, 66.9. That might have been, not have been due fault, though, man. What y'all think? 66.9. Not no freaking Hellcat. They tricked me. Why the hell did I thought this was a Hellcat? I think because they got the SRT wheels on it. So this not even a Hellcat, y'all. This is an SRT. Fool me. I don't know why I thought it was a Hellcat. Why did I get Hellcat? Why did I get those? I think those because those wheels are like Hellcat wheels to me. So, yep. That's what you're gonna get, man. At least this one's still running, but this is how the stuff is gonna look in Copart, guys. If you if you're looking for a charge or a challenger, and if it looks a little better, you're gonna have to pay. You seen what they pay for the damn uh that orange one over there? Well, not not they pay. That's current bid. The auction is still going on right now, so it may even go up, you know, even more. So that's just what you gotta pay, man. You gotta pay to play. All right, guys. I keep screwing up, man. This is my second time recording something, and I was what well, th th thinking I was recording something, and I was not recording it. So, I was just saying about this G rack, and this is an old nine. And all I was saying was it looks too similar to the new G wagons. That's why I don't like the G wagons like that. Like they nice, but I don't think I would get one just because the the older ones look a little bit too similar to the newer ones. You feel me? That's all I was saying. This is an O five actually not uh 07 or whatever the hell i just said but i was recording and the whole time and you know what i'm saying oh and i was telling y'all that i had recorded the damn 
the car I came here to look at and wasn't recording that either. So, you know what I'm saying? You, can, you can't deny the interior of the new uh, uh, Mercedes, but I just feel like this, the outside, the exterior looks too similar to the uh, the new one. But this interior is, is kind of trash, honestly. Mercedes pretty much, to me, honestly, just got their interior together type. But like for 05, I don't know. It could be better. Look better than that. To me. But yeah, that's the only thing. And this is a GL, I mean, a G500. But yeah, man, I didn't restart. Thought I was recording twice. Wasn't recording. That's crazy. Um, I was also telling y'all, I'm going to see y'all in the next video because uh, I got a G8, my G8 mirror, the driver mirror that came with the door. No, wait a minute. I just thought about something. I don't have the driver's. Um, he asked me for the driver's uh, mirror. I don't got the driver's mirror. Oops. I got to tell him I don't got that. I got the passenger. My bad. But shouts out to the whole Hustle Nation. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I actually got to tell that dude that. Um, yeah, because I had bought when I bought the G8, it needed a, a passenger door. And I took the mirror off that old door and put it on the new door. So, yeah. So, yep. I don't. I got to what you call it but shout out to the whole hustle nation man make sure y'all like comment subscribe i'm going to get up out of here uh make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com it's your boy ray big play ray man i'm out peace